we're looking at the century range and we're considering which rod we should use for the absolute maximum range where you want to fish beyond where anyone else can fish and you're absolutely going to look at blowing the, everybody away with the casting capabilities in the right hands there's only one rod for that and that's the FMA you may remember the groundbreaking FMJ that was out about maybe eight years ago I, I had a hand in the design it was an incredible rod this is the FMA which is an updated version with a lot of new technology Basically, it's got the ATT system, which is the anti-twist and torque system, so you don't get any corkscrew with the cast. Parallel butt, there's three options with the handles, so you've got plenty of choice, depending on what sort of cosmetics you would like with the rod. It's got an insert. Also, we've included the Japanese shrink rubber, a small section on either end, so that because of the tolerances of the insert, it's a tight fit. This enables you to pull them apart easily. We've also included, I'll just swing it around and show you, a 50mm high standoff ring to, to enable you to use quite a heavy shot leader so that it'll go through the rings easy. These come in uh, various lengths, you can get a 12 or a 13. They'll handle leads between 3 ounces and 5 ounces, 5 ounces quite comfortably. So if you don't be scared of using a five ounce lead with this rod, it does it easy. There's absolutely no problem. And I've even used six ounce leads and not a, not a single problem. And they really go. If you're fishing into a headwind and the wind's in your face, you've got to punch a heavy lead into the wind. This rod will handle it easy. Basically, it's got a Ferrari beating performance, as you'll see later on in the film and uh, it's simply incredible for long range the ultimate long range tool so that's my suggestion if you want to beat everybody for distance uh -huh.